Lay advisor asks for the written order from the magistrates to be produced before he leaves the court. Sergeant agrees and goes to get the order. We respect the human being. Twenty minutes later, Sergeant returns without a written order. The Sergeant keeps implying that the Law Society will investigate any grievance. The Sergeant returned twice more, without the written order. Mr. Stephen Barry, the legal fiction, the birth certificate, is once again produced in court, for and on the record. All on the record, I place Stephen Barry in front of the court. Okay, so anybody in this courtroom who pays to identify themselves as Stephen Barry? So Mr. Stephen Barry pays the court previously. All on the record and on the record, okay? There's no need to now Stephen Barry. Would you like me to bring Mr. Stephen Barry to the court, sir? And the court one on the side. The clerk asks for those who did not stand to leave or be removed. The constables honour their oaths by not responding to the clerk's orders. We are still waiting for the magistrates to produce a written order. However, time is money, and the council's solicitor, although being paid a small fortune, is getting restless. Her fee has been estimated at around £450. The hearing is to establish liability for £308. Sergeant returns for the last time with no written order. Lay advisor asks once again for a written order. Yes or no would suffice, but Sergeant is still in full on BS mode, as there is no written order. <laughs> Mr. Stephen Barry, the legal fiction or birth certificate, is once again produced in court, for and on the record. For on the record, I place Stephen Barry in front of the court. Yeah. Yeah. Once again, those in the public gallery, by remaining seated, deny the corporate court jurisdiction. The magistrate then throws in the old contempt of court chestnut, yet they still have no jurisdiction.
As the magistrates have abandoned the court for the third time and have never had jurisdiction, the lay advisor informs the court he is now the highest authority and leads the lay advisors out of the court. The only jurisdiction in the court was therefore common law, and the police constables honoured their oath. Case dismissed under common law. The clerk and magistrates failed in all their attempts to get jurisdiction. The legal fiction appeared in court three times. The lay advisor remained in control of the court. The magistrates could not make a judgment and threw in the towel. The alleged offences committed by the clerk, solicitors, magistrates and counsel include conspiracy to defraud, fraud, obstruction, perjury, dereliction of duty, deception, treason and wasting police time. Whilst your associates informed me that you were present in court, it is unfortunate that you did not make yourself known to me or the court. Stephen Barry registered his name on arrival at court and was seen by 14 witnesses. Mr Stephen Barry, legal fiction summonsed, was presented to the court on three occasions. This too was seen by 14 witnesses and also by you watching this film. This makes the counsel, solicitors and magistrates testimony spurious. And if that's not bad enough, the hearing started at 12.30 as the clerk delayed the case for two and a half hours. But the liability order was signed at 10 a.m. before the hearing. Yes, before the hearing. Judgment was passed before the case was even heard. Liability order in respect of council tax. Date, 21st of January 2010, 1000 hours. Cumbran Magistrates Court. <laughs>